guys, I leave for school in a week. I'm I'm moving to my dorm next week. One of like top three things I'm most stressed about about going back to school is deciding the books that are coming with me. This is like a huge decision that I have to make every fucking semester. And it makes me insane. I have a few that I know are definitely coming with me. But uh, other than that, I just wanted to show you guys what the vibe was. My goal is really just to bring books that I know are going to excite me to pick up and I'm gonna be honest with you that's not everything that's on my 2022 like stack that I picked at the beginning of the year I did a book called 22 books for 2022 except it's completely random um that means I'm not left with a bunch of books that I'm really really stoked for um and because I only have such a limited number and I don't want to look at my bookshelf and be like oh I want to go buy books because I'm not excited for any of these I, I, I just want to bring books that I'm excited about. Let me grab things first that I know I'm going to bring. These bad boys are coming with me. I'm going to read them. I'm going to read them. And uh, if you've been on my channel, you probably know why. <laughs> I have this little stack of books. This was just um, a stack of short books that I pulled out because last week I did a readathon with Kay, fully intending to film it. And then shit kind of got crazy. <laughs> um, my new phone came in the mail, so trying to switch to my new phone and then also trying to read and then also trying to like hang out with Kay like was sort of a lot so I didn't get a lot of footage but these are the books that I had to consider I want to read convenience store woman so bad and it's so short and tiny that I feel like I could bring it and literally like breeze through it in one day between classes and it would work. So Convenience Store Woman is definitely coming with me. I've decided that I'm going to bring 15 books, but if the book is short, it's only going to count for half a book. So Convenience Store Woman and um, we had to remove this post by Hannah Barbowitz. That's, those count as, as one book together. I'm already overwhelmed. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> This is already very overwhelming. I'm gonna bring with me Men Who Hate Women by Laura Bates. This is nonfiction. I actually just really desperately wanna read this and just have it. So when my book selection is a little more narrow, hopefully this will be something I'm more ego, eager uh, to get to. Nonfiction has been kind of pulling at me lately. So um, yeah, we'll see. I am going to bring with me love hate and clickbait by liz bowery because i am simply just so excited to read this it's a rom-com uh it's gay they're working on a political campaign together it's quite literally everything i could ask for so it's coming with me i'm gonna bring with me the gilded wolves because i really want to read it um and then if i pick up the gilded wolves i will just ask my mom to ship me my copy of The Silver Serpents. I'm also going to bring with me Boy Parts by Eliza Clark because I really want to read it. Uh, that's going to be the reason for <laughs> most of the books. It's coming with me because I really want to read it. I'm going to bring The Feeling of Falling in Love by Mason Deaver because, <laughs> say it with me, I really want to read it. I really liked it. Wish you all the best. I haven't read a second book yet, but the promise of that one just sounds really, really good. Maurice by Ian e. Forrester. This is a classic, but it's also gay. I'm gonna bring it with me just in case I'm in that vibe. I don't know if that's gonna make the final cut. I'm honestly, at this point, I'm just gonna throw anything on the bed that like really pulls to me and then we'll make some some cuts uh, if need be. Icebreaker, I've heard fantastic, fantastic things about this. And a couple months ago I was scrolling on TikTok and the author <laughs> made a TikTok and she was like, oh, people have been comparing Icebreaker to Off the Game and asking me if I've ever read Off the Game. And then she showed off her Off the Game tattoo. And you guys all know that I have an Off the Game tattoo. So um, this is this is coming with me. <laughs> I'm gonna bring something fabulous by Alexis Hall. I wanna bring an Alexis Hall book. Fucking love Alexis Hall. Husband material made me fucking insane. And I'll talk about it more in my wrap up because I have to film it. But like... That book made me crazy. I know I was just talking about how nothing on my 22 books for 2022 really excited me. Um, I lied. I want to bring this thick ass fucking fantasy with me just because I haven't read a thick ass fantasy in a long time and I know the sequel just came out. So you're coming home with me. 
Her Body and Other Parties is coming with me. I think I've had this with me in New York three semesters in a row and never gotten around to it. I'm fucking doing it this time. I swear to God I'm doing it. I'm also going to bring uh, Summer Suns by Lee Mandelo. This is an arc I found at the thrift store. I'm dead fucking serious. This still makes me insane. And I'm also bringing A Marvelous Light because I heard I'm gonna like it. Loveless by Alice Oseman. I'm gonna bring it. If we were villains, uh, this book is going to destroy me and ruin my personality. Um, and I'm gonna bring it so that I can read it. I'm gonna bring One Italian Summer by Rebecca Searle just because allegedly next semester I'm gonna be studying abroad in Italy. I'm still figuring it all out, but it's fully my plan. So this is just going to be um, a manifestation tool. <laughs> I probably will read it. Once all my study abroad stuff is finalized, maybe I'll read it just fully to be like, I'm going to Italy, bitch. Here we are. I feel like she needs to come with me. Other books I'm bringing uh, that are going to be contenders. These were all on my little shelf over there because I'm simply out of room. Uh, Night Bitch by Rachel Yoder. I need something fucked up and weird, guys. I just do. You're the only one I've told the stories behind abortion. I've talked about this before. It's more nonfiction. I really want to read it. Funny You Should Ask by Eliza Sussman. Also coming with me. Let me narrow that down a little bit. I need to unplug this fucking ring light and plug my AC back in because I'm I'm sweating. Hi guys. Um, it is a different day. I picked these books out originally two days ago on Monday. Um, and I'm gonna look at them again and say, hey, what should I actually bring with me? But first, I do want to update you because two books have since been added to the pile that is definitely are definitely coming with me because they are new releases that I want to get to immediately. One is A Sun Bear Trials by Aiden Thomas. My Barnes and Noble put this out early and I am forever thankful to them. I am so excited to read this book. I fucking love Cemetery Boys. I've been looking forward to this book for so long. I actually did pre-order a signed and personalized copy but when i saw this i simply could not resist so this is going to be my next read after i finish carrie soto and then when i'm done with this i think i'm gonna pick up this bad boy i'm so excited not my local barnes and noble but like my next closest barnes and noble posted that they had some of these in stock on Instagram and I called immediately and I was like hi I want one <laughs> they were like all right so I drove down there and I picked it up and um yeah I now have a copy of I'm glad my mom died and I, I really can't wait to read this obviously this has been everywhere I've heard nothing but good things there's an ad for a Barnes and Noble MasterCard in here I apply for the Barnes and Noble MasterCard like once every six months and I get denied every single time. <laughs> Next, that I know we're definitely coming with me, um, the three Emily Henry novels. I do intend on doing a video um, like my Sally Rooney video where I read them all, all three of them. Um, so yeah, that's probably gonna be when I'm done with these three. And then I have two arcs that I really wanna get to. Um, and then I would probably do Emily Henry. I do have book lovers. It's just in a different spot in the pile. If we were villains, this is 100% coming with me. I need to read this. This book is going to alter my personality and destroy my life. And I need something like that. Love, Hate, and Clickbait. I, I want to read this, but I'm not like immediately, I don't know. I'm going to put it in like a maybe pile because I really don't want to bring too many books. I'm only going to be living in this dorm until December and then I'm coming back here and then I'm gonna be in Italy for five months so like it's I really want to like keep it narrowed down that being said something fabulous is also gonna go in the maybe pile I have night bitch too guys ugh. I need to bring something like fucked up with me funny you should ask see I'm I really want to read this too this is so hard guys why what was I thinking? Fully what was I thinking? I don't think I'm gonna bring this with me. That was a good one, Morgan. You're never gonna wanna read this. You're, you're not gonna wanna read this. This is definitely coming with me. I've been looking forward. I looked for this book for too long. I bought it on hardcover for like $28. Like it's 
coming with me like i want to read it these two books are also definitely going to come with me i'm desperate to read both of them and they're both really short it basically just counts as one book i want to keep it to like 15 honestly both of these are going to get moved to the maybe pile i think if i'm going to bring a fantasy with me i'm going to bring the jasmine throne as opposed to a marvelous light just because it just feels more of what i want at the moment <sighs> one italian summer is coming with me as my manifestation tool <laughs> men who hate women i don't know if i'm gonna want to read this and the you're the only one i've told in a four month span because that's that's a lot of just hatred <laughs> i don't know if i can i don't know if i'd be able to um stomach both of those in a four month period so maybe maybe she's gonna go back on my shelves summer suns perhaps like these are like a like a 50 percent like summer suns is like a 70 percent like i'm probably gonna bring it with me the gilded wolves i'm 100 percent bringing with me i need to read this so bad icebreaker this is another maybe i probably at some point while i'm at school i'm gonna want to reread off of the game i always reread off of the game when i'm at school i just feel like i need to do it in my soul loveless I don't know do i want to read it like right now like right in the next four months now i don't know these three are definitely going to come with me the jasmine throne um her body and other parties because i'm i'm desperate to read it and the feeling of fall in love by mason deeper i need to read this and then get back to Kay about how it was let's see how many is that one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen okay i could bring i can bring two more what do we think i think i'm gonna bring with me also boy parts and summer suns i think these are also gonna come with me all of these like i'm pulled to them but like i'm pulled to the other ones more so like these i think have been eliminated i mean i'm definitely gonna buy books while i'm there i know i'm gonna go to mcnally jackson because i'm looking for politics the form of a mortal girl and I've never seen it at Barnes and Noble, but I know I've seen it before. So I'm pretty sure I've seen it at McNally Jackson and I want it. So I know I'm gonna go there and buy it. <laughs> and there's more books coming out, obviously, that I'm really excited for. Gray Warren is gonna come out while I'm in, uh, while I'm at school. That's gonna make me, fucking Gray Warren and Midnight's coming out in the same week is going to make me insane. That combination is going to make me insane. There's a lot happening and I think that I'll be okay not reading this particular stack in the next four months everything else though i'm like yeah it's uh it's it's coming with me so you guys better look next time i guess those are the books that's coming with me guys um emily henry we've got um summer suns some gay speculative fiction horror stell told me i would really like this she said it had off of the game vibes so we'll see two little shorties boy parts by eliza clark this is a, a fucked up and crazy pick the sun bearer trials these are on the immediate tbr like i talked about mason deaver her body and other parties also kind of fucked up and crazy big thicky fantasy moment i'm excited for this actually gilded wolves that's a a little trilogy moment my manifestation tool a non-fiction moment and this book that i know is gonna rip my soul into those are the picks guys those are the final final picks and uh i've managed to narrow down my collection of probably like 300 books into 15 books that i want to get to in the next four months so um yeah if you guys are heading to school you know good luck best of luck to you i'm i have a very busy semester ahead of me i have a part-time job classes and an internship and i'm the vice president of a student org so <laughs> yeah so <laughs> it's gonna be a busy semester for me i'll have my wrap up coming out to you soon i want to film that before i leave so i have all the books in my little hands I'm excited and i'm nervous and it's gonna be a good semester at least i'm fucking hoping <laughs> all right I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Oh, fuck me, you guys. This is not, not funny.
Yeah. 